What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology, and today I am delighted to have a beautiful person in my channel. His name is Nitin Kashyapji, as many of you would have already seen his interviews in YouTube, and I'm very delighted. So I would say Namaste, Nitin Ji. Welcome. <laughs> you will see him very soon in a while, and. Let me give a brief introduction about him so that you can understand who is this person and what are his credentials and what is he going to talk today. All right. So I will hover down to the screen. So he is from the Holy Land of India's capital, Delhi, and he's from the family of astrologers and his maternal grandfather, his Nanaji, was a very great astrologer. His name was Ramakrishan Sharma if I've spelled it right. And then he has been instrumental in giving many articles in leading Indian magazines like India Today, the Astrological Magazine, which was started by the great B.B. Raman sir. And then also Jyotish Manthan. And then there's another magazine, Modern Astrology, where he has been giving his articles. And now he is teaching astrology for more than a decade. He said almost 10, 12, 13 years. <laughs> And his mentor is Sri K. Rangachari and so many other people who have taught him. But he said not to include their names because the list is very long. And then he also has his YouTube channel. Its name is Astro Life Sutras. So I'll pin the link of the channel below so that everybody goes and subscribes. Yes. And his phone number is plus 919968039321. And you can also reach him in email at Astro Nitin at the rate live.com. A S T R O N I T I N at the rate L I V E dot I N. All right. And so today, Nitinji is going to talk about how to analyze conjunctions of planets. So many people keep asking, okay, I have this conjunction, what's going to happen? Yes. And then the degrees and so many other things which he have made a beautiful presentation. He was just showing it to me. So I was delighted to see what's there. So Nitinji, the stage is yours. <laughs> All over to you. Welcome to Exotic Astrology. Uh, Jai Shri Ram, uh, Mr. Bhabhajit. Or I, should I say Bhabhajit? Because, uh, Whatever suits you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it gives me immense pleasure to be with you on Exotic Astrology. I was following your channel um, quite a long. And, um, you know, the spiritual videos you are making, uh, you know, hats off to you. And it's quite, an, uh, I would say, it's quite incredible to do such work in uh, quite a young age. And I like to thank Priyanka Mahopadhyay who uh, arranged this uh, meeting of us. So uh, let's start today's topic: conjunction yes. of planet. I'm so excited to see. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this looks great. Hmm. So first of all, we need to understand, you know, conjunctions are very attractive feature in astrology. They're yeah. not only stunning and powerful, but also uh, in different chart, it give, uh, it give unique result. And uh -huh. uh, why is it so? We need to understand this in this video. We are going to understand this in this video. And it is a very complicated subject, I would say, to judge conjunction. Because, yes. uh, you know, you have some planetary traits and at the same time, they also own some bhavas. They are posited in different sign. So we need to accumulate all the, you know, uh, traits together. And then we can understand the uh, impact or result of conjunction. Right. Uh, yes. You know, according to conservation, uh, law of conservation, you know, energy can ni neither be created nor destroyed. In the same yes. way, when you have conjunction of two different planets, uh, the stronger one will provide strength to the weaker one. Yes. So we need to understand the conjunction concept. And uh, so I'm, I'm sharing one chart with you, first of all, mm -hmm. uh, or uh, rather I should say two chart um, in the North Indian and South Indian view. And in this chart, First of all, we, we understand how conjunction can change the result of a, of a planet. Uh, in the above chart, we have Scorpio Ascendant, right? Yes. And uh, we have Guru Chandra Yuti, Jupiter Moon together in the Lagna. And Beautiful. according to Indian classical book, uh, this combination is called Gajakesari Yoga. 
uh, right? Yes. And you know uh, why Gaj Kesari Yoga is so important, or what is the result we can expect from it? Uh, Chandrama Manaso Jataha. It, it uh -huh. indicates that uh, moon represents the emotional state of the native. And when it is combined with Rahaspati, Deva Guru, or uh, you know, the planet of knowledge, it represents mm -hmm. stability in your behavior. Santushti, Santoshaha. Uh -huh. And at the same time, it is also it, it also provide you, uh, I would say, strength to, to fight against all odds in your life. Okay. Yes, yes. Now, this is the, uh, you, I would say, uh, the interpretation given by a different classical book. Now, let's consider the lordship or uh, the houses which are owned by Jupiter and Moon. In the above chart, Jupiter owned the second and the fifth house. Trikona Bhava, right? Yes. yes. And at the same time, it is posited in the Lagna, Trine, Trikona Bhava. Yes. With the ninth lord. Beautiful. So we can say that uh, Panchama Adhipati or fifth lord and ninth lord both are sitting together in the supreme house of the chart, which is the Lagna. Yes. So it is a Raja Yoga Karaka. There is no doubt about it. Beautiful. And it also on the second. Now there is a conjunction of second and uh, ninth in the Lagna. We can interpret the same combination uh, by using different houses. So in the, right? yes, yes, so yes. Now, so now we have uh, second and uh, ninth lord both are sitting together in the Lagna. It also represents a uh, good financial condition of the native. Dhan Yoga. Dhan Yoga. Absolutely. But we have the same combination in the given chart, in the, uh, in the chart below, but now uh -huh. the results are totally different. Uh -huh. How? Uh, the, uh, you know, the below chart is of uh, Taurus Ascendant. Yes. And uh, in the seventh house, we have uh, Gaj Kesari Yoga, Jupiter Moon together. But, but in this chart, Jupiter owned the eighth house and Moon yes. owned the third house. Uh huh. Right. So both yes. these houses are not considered to be good in Vedic astrology. Yes. And both are sitting together in the seventh bhava and aspecting the lagna. Uh -huh. And as all we know that uh, you know Jupiter and Venus both are not having a very, very good mutual relationship. Both are enemical. Yes. Things, uh. Yes. So for this ascendant, if you have Gaj Kesari Yoga, it is not so good. Okay. So this is the difference between the same, this is the difference when we have the same combination in different Lagna. Right? Uh -huh. So basically you are saying that if the Jupiter and Moon are owning good houses relatively in the chart, then this is much more powerful and in the otherwise other cases it can be a bit challenging. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So we need to, we need to check the Lordship also before saying that the planet will give you a good result. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. So now I'm uh, moving ahead. You know, in conjunction, or forget about conjunction, parity degree always plays an important role in prediction. Right. Yes. Uh, whether it is in Bal Avastha or Mrit Avastha, Yuva Avastha, or in the uh, Nakshatra Pada, etc., etc., we need to check those factors. If we are going to say any a single line about a planet, and uh, today I'll share how degree can change the scenario or change the result of conjunction. I've been uh, waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, beautiful effects. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so uh, now let's understand this in this chart, in the given chart. In the given chart, uh, this chart belongs to Aries Ascendant and Moon sign is Libra. Right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the Lagna Adipati, the Lagna Lord, Ascendant Lord and yes. Seventh Lord, both are sitting together in the same house. Uh -huh. Right? Okay. Yes. And uh, even from Chandra Lagna, again, both are sitting together, Lagna Lord and yes. Seventh Lord, both are sitting together in the same house.
Correct. So according to classical book, if you are Lagna Adipati and Saptama Adipati both are sitting together, it is a good combination of having a good married life. Aha. Uh -huh. But but in this case, if you see the degrees of uh, Venus, Mars, and Sun, mm -hmm. Sun, you you can say that Sun is in between Mars and Venus. Correct. So we have one planet which is acting as an obstruction or a barrier to reach ah. the Lagna Lord. Ah, 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 okay. And Venus is combust you. also here. Yes, you are right. And um, you know, as far as planetary speeds are concerned, uh, yes. Venus is faster moving planet if, if, if we compare it with uh, Mars. Almost so, twice. Yes, you are right. And Mars is move, Venus is moving toward Mars, but uh, in the midway, he is going to meet Sun, who is uh -huh. a cruel planet. Who is a cruel planet, and as you said uh -huh. earlier, that it is combusted also. So mm -hmm. in such cases, this combination is not good for married life. Okay, there can be too much ego battles and this kind of a stuff, and that Correct. too it is in the twelfth house. Well, absolutely, uh, <laughs> we can say we can say because of Sun, it could be ego battle. Uh, son also represent head of the family. It's uh, quite possible that head of the family is, you know, intervening between the relationship. Uh, you know, do the negative things uh, in your relationship. Yeah, and it can also happen that uh, when they have the first child birth, because son is the fifth lord, then this thing can get activated. <laughs> bingo, bingo, bingo. <laughs> so fifth lord, uh, Surya, uh -huh. as a, uh, Surya as Surya as Ahem Karaka. Uh, ego Karaka ah, and uh, son as the uh, head of the family. So they ah, need to take precaution so that uh, ah, you know they can maintain a good relationship here. Ah, okay. Now, moving ahead in this chart, again, the Lagna Lord and the Seventh Lord both are sitting together ah, in the Trikbhava. Shani Chandra. <laughs> Shani Chandra, Vish Yoga. According to some book, <laughs> <laughs> but we need to understand. See, uh, here we have four planet conjunction, mm -hmm. eighth house, right? And uh, the Lagna Lord and the Seventh Lord both are sitting together. If we concentrate on the degrees, we can yes. see, we can see Moon, the Saptamadipati or the Seventh Lord is moving yes. toward the Lagna Lord. Yes. And there is no barrier in it. Ah. It passes the barrier, uh, you can say obstruction or barrier before the marriage. But after marriage, the things will, the, the, the things will be good. Okay. Acha, you are saying before there are barriers because of this uh, Rahu and there's another planet there, I think. Correct. Jupiter, correct. Jupiter was there. So, uh, okay. you know, moon has to cover Jupiter, Rahu to come to the Saturn. If, if. Ah, uh, ah, ah. So in this case, we say that uh, before marriage, there are chances that uh, there was some obstruction. There was some uh -huh. obstruction in your marriage. But after achieving or after uh, cover the, the, those obstruction, now you are with your uh, husband. And uh, we can say that uh -huh. the relationships are quite good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correct, correct, correct. Even though we have uh, Vish Yoga, even though we have Rahu Ketu axis with the Lagna and Seventh Lord, but because of the degrees, because of the degrees, this combination uh -huh. is not so negative. Yeah. And one more thing can be said is here, because in the sign of Leo, Jupiter will be the most strongest, I guess, among Correct. all the planets. Correct. Correct. So if they focus on spiritual practices, they can uh, effortlessly overcome this. may not be completely, but the effects of the 8th house can be reduced to a great extent. Wow. Great. Correct. <laughs> agree with you in the on this point that uh, yes. you, know, you need to do some spiritual practice you need to do some spiritual practice it will help yeah. in maintaining good relationship yes yes so uh, now um, let's talk about the other thing wow another beauty <laughs> <laughs> uh, twist of vakri graha or retrograde wow. planet the most talked thing in the community Hmm, hmm, hmm. But uh, I would say that according to classical book, uh, Krura Vakra Mahakrura, Mahakura. Somya Vakra Mahashubha. 
So uh-huh. if, if a benefic planet, if a, a planet who own the good houses in your chart, if they become retrograde, they will not give you a negative result. Uh-huh. But uh, a lot of 6th, 8th and 12th, if they, they become retrograde, in that case, you can expect a lot of negativity from, it, uh, from uh-huh. that particular planet. So uh-huh. Retrogression is not all about the uh, negativity, first of all, because, you know, uh, there's a concept of finding Ayu, Ayu Khanda of different native. Uh, uh-huh. Anshayu and Pindayu are the method to, to detect the longevity of the native. And uh-huh. in that particular method, if a planet becomes retrograde, it will provide three time age of the actual. Oh. Uh, yeah, retrogression, they say they need three attempts. Correct, correct, correct. So because I was seeing a chart recently. There was uh, in the Siddhamsha of education. Mm-hmm. That person's second lord was retrograde. So he needed three attempts to finish his masters. <laughs> right, right, right. So Vakri Graha means retrogation is not always negative, first of all. And uh-huh. uh, we need to check the chart before saying so. Now, uh, let's talk about conjunction and retrogation. This ch- in this chart, uh, Scorpio ascendant chart, Lagna Dipati Mars uh, is a big bali. It is in the tenth house, give, uh, mm-hmm. having a directional strength, and it is also associated with the uh, Brahaspati Jupiter, who is uh-huh. the uh, natural karaka of wealth. Uh, or uh, in this chart, it is also owning the second house and the fifth house, right? Perfect. Okay. Now, let's uh, focus on the degrees of those two planets. Mars, being the faster one, crosses Jupiter, right? Because yes. Jupiter, Mars is owing a 20 degree 13 minute, whereas yes, Jupiter yes. is at 14 degree 43. 14 degrees. But due to retrogation, it is moving towards Jupiter again. Oh, Mars is retrograde. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. So it is again moving towards Jupiter. Aha. Uh-huh. And but unfortunately, Jupiter is also retrograde here. It is moving away <laughs> from the <laughs> Mars. Yeah, okay, and Rahu is by nature retrograde. <laughs> Absolutely. Both are retrograde. So if you are moving towards Jupiter, Jupiter is also moving away from your side. Uh, now, how, sh- how should we predict it? How uh, what, what would be the result of it? The Lagnadipati is trying to achieve wealth because okay. Lagnadipati is moving towards wealth, Lord. Okay, Achha. right, but interesting. But unfortunately, Jupiter is moving away from you. It represents that you need to do lots of effort to achieve wealth in your life. One thing. Oh, okay. Are you getting my point? Perfectly, I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> so suppose if you, in this case, if Jupiter is direct, in that case, uh, there's no issue at all. Mars is moving towards Jupiter and Jupiter was direct. Jupiter is also moving towards uh, Mars. Such, uh, in such conjunction, it will give you fantastic result. And oh, you are gosh. going to achieve wealth. According to it, you are trying to achieve wealth. Uh-huh. Now understand, let's think about an Aquarius ascendant chart, suppose. Yes. Uh, in that particular, uh, in that chart, uh, Saturn owned the Lagna, right? Correct. And the second Lord becomes Jupiter. Perfect. So if Jupiter is moving towards Saturn, it represents you are not doing any effort to attain wealth. Wealth is coming to you naturally. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so we need to understand conjunction. And uh, I would say uh, retrogression plays very important role in it. In interpreting, in interpreting the, the conjunction, okay. So maybe this can also take place. For example, suppose in any chart, suppose if the Lagna Lord and Seventh Lord are combined, <laughs> you, abs- you are absolutely <laughs> right. If the Lagna Lord is ahead of the Seventh Lord, but it's retrograde, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. can mean that you are always running behind the opposite sex or so, something similar. Correct, correct. Or even you ah. can say this, you uh, first you rejected the proposal and then you again reconsider it for your marriage. Oh, ah, achha, oh, interesting. Because you become retrograde and then you are coming back again to the seventh lot. Ah, right. So I'll take this into account. <laughs> <laughs> and one more thing. One more thing. Uh, when uh, Lagna Lord and Seventh Lord, suppose both are sitting together in the same house, uh, uh-huh. who propose whom? If you want to, if you want to check it, if suppose Seventh Lord is moving towards Seventh Lord, and Seventh Lord is uh, sorry, uh, if Lagna Lord 
uh, is moving toward the seventh lord. In uh. that case, Lagna native himself proposes the partner. Or okay. He's trying to you know um, have a relationship with her. Um, on the other hand, if seventh lord is moving toward the lagna, it represents that the, your partner is moving towards you. He was trying to uh, come to you. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Mind blowing. This is. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So uh, I would say that uh, there are a few key points which we discuss in this video, and uh, you know whenever you are going to check conjunction. We need to check first of all the lordship of planet. It is very much important uh, whether they are owning good houses or the bad ones. Hello. Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Whether they are owning good house or the bad one. According to mm -hmm. it, we can say that the, the the conjunction will give you good result or bad. Uh, I'm giving you one example. Uh, we, we are talking about Shani Chandra Yoga, which is considered to be a wish yoga. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, for a Cancer ascendant or for a uh, Capricorn ascendant. The Lagna Adipati and the Seventh Adi, uh, la, Seventh Lord, uh, you know, both are the good. Capricorn. Uh, correct for Capricorn ascendant, the Lagna Lord and the Seventh Lord are Moon and Saturn, right? So perfect. In such cases, we should not say that this combination is always negative. Yeah. So how I interpret the, those things is that what I feel is key, the Vish Yoga will give its own effects irrespective of the ascendant. Yes. Yes, but because that is a Capricorn ascendant, that will have some other advantages, even if the Vishuka is there. Fantastic, fantastic. Yes, yeah. you are correct. Yes. Uh, this is the thing which we need to consider. Let's talk about Taurus ascendant. Yeah, you know, in Taurus ascendant, uh, fourth house is owned by a sun, sun. Right? and the tenth lord is owned by a Saturn. Yes, now, so, so if you have uh, oh, sun Saturn yes. combination in this chart for Taurus <laughs> ascendant. Uh, no doubt, uh, because of the basic trait, both are enemical to each other. We should not yes. say that this combination is always good as far as uh, you know, uh, the prediction is considered. Because yes. natural traits are not going with each other. But yes. at the same time, because of the lordship, they are still give you good result. Oh, yes. Okay. So it can happen that if Saturn or Sun is in the 4th or 10th conjunct, then this can give them uh, a career related to home, property, real estate or big homes like kingly homes. Those things yes. can be there, even though that uh, yoga is f uh, performing some negatively in some other place. Yes, you are right. You see, I met a few South Indian astrologer and okay. they told me, uh, you know, you North Indian always say that Jupiter, uh, Sun Saturn combination is not good. It is not good for father, etc, etc. But uh, according to, you know, late R.G. Rao, uh, great Nadi astrologer, he say okay. that uh, if you have Jupiter, uh, if you have Sun Saturn combination in, in your chart, it represents a very good professional life. Okay. Him, he say that the tenth, uh, you know, uh, the natural uh, significator of tenth house is Saturn, as okay. per the Kal Purush Kundli, right? Uh -huh. uh, you have Capricorn sign in the tenth house. Tenth house. So uh, the uh, natural tenth house significator is Saturn, and if it is associated with Sun, a kingly planet, uh -huh. or a royal planet, in that case, it oh. will give you a business or a, or a or a profession in which uh, you know the administrative power, or I would say. The, the signatory authority you you will have there okay uh -huh. and uh, so the lordship of planet plays a very important role then the natural traits yeah and i think that is why this combination i have because i'm from the family of government service officials mm -hmm. so my grandfather was in the indian administrative service but i have seen some similar charts of my father's colleagues who are is officers mm -hmm. who have this conjunction so i would wonder that how they are having this sun saturn <laughs> <laughs> no, it will, so it will point be. is exactly fitting where it should hmm. in that case credit goes to uh, late Sri Alji Rao because uh, he taught me about this uh, that if you have Sun Saturn combination it is not always negative uh, so this is how we need to see it then uh -huh. then we discuss uh, today we discuss about degrees we need to check degrees right uh, yes. who is moving towards whom and then retrogression, oh. how retrogression can change the scenario. So yeah. these are the things which I want to discuss with you on your forum, Bhavaji. Yeah, and another thing I have noticed about uh, conjunctions is that I had made one or two videos on that. Okay. So in that, I said uh, that suppose 
Jupiter Venus is conjunct. Mm. So then you will always say, oh, this is a very good yoga for this and that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, standard traditional default dictum is it's a good yoga. <laughs> Correct. But, the question, <laughs> but the question is good for what? There are million things in this universe. Mm. So, even if you reject, uh, even if you ignore the lagna and the house lords, mm. okay, mm. then Jupiter Venus conjunction, suppose it is happening in the sign of Libra, mm. okay, mm. then Jupiter has to listen to Venus. It doesn't have any option. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, correct, correct. But if it is happening in a fire sign, mm. then Venus is smashed mm. and it has to listen to Jupiter. Mm. So that means these people I have seen, if Jupiter, Venus, like I have some charts mm. where this is occurring in an earth sign where Ju- Venus is very strong. Mm. I mean, considering Taurus as its own sign okay. or in an air sign. Mm. These people, whenever it comes to Jupiter, which is mm. spirituality, they're mm. always taking Venus into consideration. Mm. That mm. means the moment they want to go to some holy place, I tell mm. them they will ask me, Oh, is there a good hotel available? <laughs> 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 if I tell them go to Kum Mela and you will sleep in water, they'll be like, oh, no, 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 I will not go there. Maybe I will go to some other place. Na? Correct, but correct, if correct. Venus is uh, with Jupiter in a fire sign, especially, <laughs> sorry, then, mm. then the Jupiterian traits will be more. And mm. if this is in a water sign, this is fabulous actually. Because in water, both Venus gets exalted and Jupiter has own sign. Mm. So Jupiter, Venus in water sign can be fabulous for spiritual growth. This is what I have noticed. Apart from the lordships and the mm-hmm. magna. I totally agree with you. Because water sign in water sign, Jupiter become exalted. And at the yes, same time, Venus, Venus also exalted there. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but what I see in Ju- Jupiter, Venus combination, you know, uh, uh, they are... They they uh, they have good knowledge about materialistic world and at the same time they want to become spiritual also, and yeah. uh, you know uh, they are just they are in a dilemma whether we should go uh, for a plan A or for for a plan B on a spiritual track or on a materialistic track. And so, I think the dispositor will tell what they will end yes, up doing. <laughs> yes, and, and obviously as, as you said earlier that the sign plays very important role there. Yeah, if you are in a fiery sign in that case you should follow Jupiter impact. And if you are in a you know sign owned by Venus, in that case, uh, you have tendency towards Venus, uh, Venus impact or materialistic things. So yes, totally agree with you. You know, sign in, in some charts for this case, Jupiter Venus. Uh, I have also seen that uh, sometimes life can demand when they are pursuing a spiritual path that they make some kind of a sacrifice materially, which is Venus. Until that time, they will not do that. Their mm. spiritual life will be stagnant and they will not advance. But the moment they do this, it's like mm. bang on, they'll move like a rocket. <laughs> mm-hmm. And this another one, thing mm-hmm. regarding this uh, thing you said, na, seventh lord going towards the lagna lord, lagna lord going mm-hmm. towards seventh. So this can be very good uh, and helpful if we do horoscope matching. Suppose we get the horoscope of a girl who has this combination that uh, the uh, she's uh, running away. I mean, if her Lagna Lord is running away from the seventh Lord, mm-hmm. then it can happen that we can tell the boy that it will always happen. Uh, you have to keep running after her. No, that's not very healthy. The opposite is also not healthy. Okay. So the, yeah, we can practically use these things. Very nice, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. So anything else you want to share? Uh, no, we will continue this series, uh, hopefully, with the grace of God, if he, if uh, if you know, permit us to do that. Uh, well, because, I'll, I'll... because it's already on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, I agree with you, Bhavajit, that, uh, you know, on, when we are going to see the conjunction, <laughs> signs yes. are always very, very important all, because I yeah, yeah. think this subject in Delhi, and I know that students are generally they they they, they see the conjunction with the basic trait only. They don't use bhava. No. They don't use a uh, sign there. And uh, as you said that in a fiery sign, this conjunction would be totally different, right? Yes. And yes. Uh, if you have this combination in other sign, the result is different. So yes, agree with you. And um, I hope my students are listening you or I'll uh, make them to listen you uh, so that they can understand how signs are important. Yeah, and other things are also important. Like if some uh, malefic is smashing them from somewhere through aspect, 
Hmm. So that will also mold the results of this, na. And then depends on which malefic is closely aspecting degree wise. Degree wise, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. because sometimes people just take aspect. Oh, my Saturn is aspecting Venus, but Saturn <laughs> in zero degree <laughs> Venus is in twenty nine degrees. Okay. In next video, we'll try to do a, a video on fake aspect. Fake aspect. Oh. You know, uh, we we say that we say that uh, Saturn always aspect the tenth house where it is posited, right? Correct. But in Chhadbala, we have certain degrees, uh, you know, which belong to the ten thousand, which it can aspect. But as as um, as the planet moves away from those degree, in okay. a birth chart, you will say that Saturn is aspecting. But the fact is, Saturn is not aspecting that particular planet, and it it can oh. totally change the scenario. Oh, so uh, you know, we will do a, a small, a short video on it because it's quite a, a small topic. And yeah, we can combine it with some other topic. Yes, you are right. Definitely, definitely. Yes, so very nice to have you on the channel. So many people were requesting me that when is Nitinji coming? Then I'm like, <laughs> hang on, man, he's on the way. <laughs> <laughs> so now, the, finally, we finally the video is out now. Mm. So if you have any questions, queries, or comments, then please don't approach me. Approach him because he can only answer your queries. <laughs> Okay, so thank you very much for being in the channel. I will not say namaste very strongly because you will have to keep coming again and again. <laughs> But still, I will say a short namaste. Okay, thank you very yes, much. Yeah. Thanks so for I inviting me on your forum, Baba Ji. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Thank Have you very much. Bye bye.